Hello, my friends. I wanted to uh, make a video of uh, about the taxes that are collected f um, uh, from the sale of alcohol and tobacco and the fact that people get nothing for that as far as uh, the people who pay the taxes which are the people who drink and smoke. I smoked for better part or probably more than 20 years and uh, I have problems with breathing at one time and I had to stop uh, about eight or nine years ago um, because I couldn't breathe and um, but all those years that I smoked every time you buy a pack of cigarettes you pay an outrageous amount of money in taxes. A percentage, a huge percentage of the sale goes to taxes. And now more than ever, a pack of cigarettes, uh, it's over $10 in, in many states. And the, uh, the lion's share, the, the vast majority of that goes to a tax. However, if you get sick, when you get sick from smoking, you get nothing. You get absolutely nothing from it. You have to, if you don't have health insurance, you're screwed. So it, the same thing with alcohol. Alcohol, alcohol companies, um, they they have a product that they know, and I drank for a long time too. I haven't drank in a long time, but it caused a lot of problems in my in my uh, intestinal and my GI system. Diverticulosis, gastritis, ulcers, you name it, the works. Um, and um, people say, well, why don't you stop drinking? Well, if it becomes a habit, you know, uh, you're screwed. And these companies don't pay for anything. So they know they have a, pro a product that's addictive. Um, they don't, they, they just sell it out there. And um, a product that kills a gazillion lives, it kills more people than all the drugs, legal or illegal, combined in the planet. Um, alcohol does. And uh, same goes for tobacco. And when we, and I for a long time, you know, there's not like you can tell the, the bartenders, hey, hey I'm, I want a, a shot of whiskey, but however, I'm not going to pay the tax on the taxes they're paying on the whiskey tonight. We're not going to do that. No, that's not how it works. You buy it. If you want it, you got to pay the tax. So for your entire life, you drink and you pay these taxes to drink. However, if you get sick from drinking, if you get hooked on drinking, uh, you get uh, alcoholism, um, you're on your own, buddy. Yeah, but and thanks for the taxes. You don't even get a thank you, you know. So it's like imagine imagine if you if you paid your insurance uh, premiums on your on your car you have to pay uh, insurance to be able to drive in most states so and you get into an accident and you call your insurance company and say hey uh, I've been paying uh, this premium for a long time plus the taxes on it and I need you to cover the damages mm, they say well we don't have to cover that. Look at your contract. Insurance companies no longer cover uh, any damages or any responsibility, liability, or anything. But you still have to pay us if you want to drive. Imagine if that happened. That's exactly what's happening. It's been happening forever with um, alcohol and tobacco companies. And also with drug companies. Um, drug companies like... Um, um, you know, the, the, the companies who manufacture all these opiates who are the number one cause of uh, accident, quote unquote accidental death in the United States um, that, that surpassed the, the auto accidents as the number one accidental death uh, cause in the United States. But they don't, they're not, they're not responsible for their products. You, you know, you can't sue them. You, you've never seen a, 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 a pain company, a, a pharmaceutical company executive get, get incarcerated because their product kills uh, 30 some odd thousand people a year. Um, so, you know, and I asked myself, uh, they should, uh, this pharmaceutical companies, they should have uh, rehab the ones especially the ones that produce painkillers or get people addicted and they don't know that they can get addicted they just get prescribed this because they got into an accident and here goes the doctor boom there's your oxys 
And next thing you know, the guy is out there holding up, uh, you know, pharmacies. A guy who has been a decent person his entire life, they put this chemical in their body, and next thing you know, their brain goes haywire, and they turn into a raging madman junkie. You know, the real deal. Okay? So, um, they should have rehab facilities. These companies should sponsor rehab facilities for the clients, for the percentage of the clients who get addicted uh, to their product. And they should pay for it. So should, so should uh, tobacco companies. So should um, uh, alcohol companies. But it doesn't exist. So you consume these products, uh, say alcohol and tobacco, your entire life. You get sick from them. You pay taxes and astronomical, like, yeah, like, what is it, like 36% of the price of alcohol or, or tobacco, or tobacco is actually higher, uh, is for a tax. But the person who pays the taxes gets shit for that tax that they're paying for it. And society supports that. They say, fuck them. They smoke that shit. Let them die. Really? What about the taxes that we paid? Yeah? You're enjoying those taxes, aren't you? Think about that for one second.